This was the worst fire in the history of the National Trust. Clandon Park House ablaze in April of last year. Nine months on, the entire building is covered in tarpaulin and 32 miles or around 50 kilometres of scaffolding. That's because the, virtually the whole building has been blackened by the fire that took place. As you come closer to the house, you get an idea of the scale of the damage and also the restoration that it's now about to undergo. Now, as you come on in here, you'll see that the hallway itself is not too badly damaged, but come right through into the marble hall and you'll see where a lot of the damage was concentrated. Go on up and you'll see that floor after floor after floor was burned in this inferno. You're now travelling up through some of those floors there, made of wood, of course, and completely destroyed in the fire. So too some of these windows, the fireplaces. About 80% of this entire house was destroyed in this fire. A house that was built around 1720 for the Onslow family. And we've heard that they're in two minds as to what to do with this house, whether to restore it or to leave it as is. But this is what it would mean if they left it as is. A complete burned out wreckage of charred wood and beams, an absolutely massive restoration plan for the National Trust. Just take a look at this, a bit of detail. You think this would be a marble column and it would survive, but look, follow my hand down and I can poke it inside because it was made of wood inside. And that's one of the problems they face. A lot of this house behind the scenes was made of wood. This lamp melted in the inferno, another piece that they're going to have to restore. And the National Trust have come up with a two-pronged plan for this restoration. What they're going to be doing is restoring to its 18th century glory these ground floors that you're looking at. But if you go up, what they're going to do is modernise it to get an architect in through a competition and put in conference centre facilities and things like that. So in many ways, a hybrid of a house is proving controversial in the world of architectural heritage. The National Trust say it's all going to cost tens of millions of pounds and what they also say is that it's going to be about four or five years to make this all happen but they are convinced that it's the right approach to save this house which they say is absolutely vital for Britain's national heritage.